Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, in the last video, I shown you the 3D design for the A320 EFIS. So in today's video, I'm going to brief you. Um, actually, I'm going to walk through the PCB for this A320 EFIS. Okay. Uh, basically, I have soldered up all the components um, into the PCB. So I'm going to explain to you each component one by one. So inside the design package, I have included the Gerber file, which is the PCB manufacturing file for you to order from PCB manufacturer um, such as JLC PCB. Okay, this is the PCB that you will get once you order from the manufacturer, PCB manufacturer. So I have marked clearly all the components required such as this one this is 180 ohms resistors and this is the rotary switches encoders um, and these are the DuPont pin uh, terminal where you need to solder the DuPont pin terminal and these two are capacitors um, I'm going to tell you later on and as well as the diode and also not to forget the IC for the seven segment, which is max seven two one nine, and the top here are the uh, push button for the if it's push button. Okay, so if you notice, these are the outlines for the Arduino Mega. So Arduino Mega will be mounted at the back of this PCB. Okay, now let's see the assembled PCB. So if you can see that these are for one push button. This is the push button, solder directly to the PCB, and then this is the LED terminal, which is inclusive of backlight lighting inside the button and also the green indicator lightings. And this one is the rotary switches. So these rotary switches also mounted directly on the PCB. And uh, below here, the push button for LS and also for FD. The pin, uh, the LED pin mounted on the side. So let use this DuPont to connect to the button later on, all right? And this one is for the selector switch um, in front of the EFIS. For the selector switch, there are two selector switch. This should be a three position switch, both of them. So the wire will be connected to here. At the top side, these are the pins for the seven segment. So I have soldered my seven segment like this so this is my seven segments i've soldered the wires so that this is the uh, female dupont pin and it should be connected directly to this pcb over here okay and below here is the barrel led indicator this one the led uh, this is the led plate so the there will be led to light up by the barrel of qnh so the led will be mounted over here as i explained in the last design uh, walkthrough so there will be two LEDs for each port. Now, for the seven seven is driven by this uh, seven two one nine chip. This is the IC DIP socket. So you just need to place the IC over here. Follow the notch position as per indicator on the PCB. Alright. For the capacitor, so this is the ten microfarad, fifty volt, and this one is the. 104 capacitor which is a ceramic capacitor is rated at uh, 0 0.1 microfarad or 10 nanofarad um, then this is the standard diode 1N4007 one second and uh, resistors you just have you just need to follow the value that indicated on the PCB okay now we go to the barrel module so this barrel module <coughs> mounted directly to on the PCB where the encoder solder directly to the PCB and then this barrel is screwed on the PCB there are two screw one here and another below here okay so these wires will connect to this connection so this wire actually for uh, push pull and then this left and right selector switch next there's also a backlight over here backlight pin so this backlight pin actually uh, controlled by this MOSFET 
So this MOSFET will connect to one of the Arduino pin to turn on the backlight or to turn off the backlight. Same goes to the backlight on the pin at the button here. So if you can see that this is my Arduino Mega. So I have uh, mounted it directly to this to the back of this PCB. I soldered the Dupont pin and I soldered backward so that I can mount this uh, Arduino Mega. Okay, and this is the uh, DC power jack for powering up the seven segment as well as the backlight. Okay, so um, the LEDs will not take power from this uh, Arduino Mega except for the LED for the indicating lights, uh, the green indicating lights. So the dark one will take power from the Arduino Mega. So I just I will test speed. So this is the enclosure. Okay, and just insert from the back like this. And everything will be aligned. So you can screw over here, screw, screw, and one more screw down below. So if you can see, so from the, from the front, and this is the way. And this is my button, okay, I have made already. And the uh, LED are already uh, installed inside. One is the uh, indicator, one is the backlight, it's supposed to be this way. Okay, you just insert over here like this okay like that. and this just plug in into the pin down below okay you might need to uh, trim some of your printed materials because uh, well you know printers cannot print in perfect dimension so you may need to trim a little bit so that the button can slide through properly so this is this is the main plate. I printed on white LA. Then I, I spray paint. Then only I engrave the wordings and the lines over here. So that later when I use um, lighting over here, so it will light up. Okay. I'm not yet uh, complete build. Uh, so I will be making an assembly video, full assembly video soon. But um, this should be enough um, walkthrough for you to start building your own. So I have tested and uh, test fit everything. So I can say that the design is um, final and is ready for sale. I will upload the design soon in the 3D cards and the link, the design will be posted below. So thank you so much for watching. See you. Bye-bye.